consumers are now finally telling us, we saw that data last Friday, that they're worried about what they're paying. You've got President Biden, you know, basically bringing it up yesterday, but he says that the recent surge in these prices is, is temporary and he expected it. And they also wants more spending to be thrown out there. What do you say? Well, I say that he is uh, not in agreement with most corporate CFOs right now. If you look at 87% of conference calls, the word inflation has been mentioned. That's up from 33% last year during the same quarter. And if you just look at companies right now, like Pepsi-Cola is a perfect example. They reported earnings last week, and the same thing you're hearing over and over. Labor costs are going up. Wages are going up. And guess what? You and me, the consumer, are going to pay for it because they're increasing prices, hence their stock's at an all-time high. And their CFO went as far to say is, we don't see transitory. We see inflation well into next year. And I just wonder now, with the labor market starting to heat up, the economy starting to heat up, and we have something like 8 million jobs uh, that have to be you know, brought back since we had the pandemic, yet there's over 9 million openings. How does that work? And how doesn't that cause more labor inflation by the end of the year? And if you want to add another $4 trillion plus in spending on top of that, that's only going to heat up the economy even more. So I think at this point, Cheryl, we've got to be real. Inflation is probably going to be around a lot longer. It's not going to be as transitory as the Fed and as the president likes you to think right now. Um, and you've got to put your, you know, position your portfolio, portfolio accordingly right now. And I talk about a lot. I talk about that a lot of my podcast. Yeah, no, and I know that you wrote this morning that you know the gods have given us a, a sell-off, and that that can't be a bad <laughs> thing. But but real quick, Ryan, you know, I have to ask you though, is this as good as it gets for 2021? No, I think that's the misconception right now because we are at peak right now. You know, earnings are going to come in phenomenal this quarter. GDP growth is going to be off the charts. Um, and I kind of agree with the other Ryan uh, in the sense that we haven't had any sort of market correction at all, which is like statistically it's kind of an anomaly. So I would take this self that we've seen over the course of the last couple of days as a gift from the gods. It's a great time to get some money invested if you haven't because the market just hasn't let you in. Reality of it is market's going to continue to go higher because earnings are just going to keep rocking. Economy's going to keep rocking. And all the market cares about are things getting better or worse. And every piece of economics data says everything's going to get much, much better as we move through the year. It's hard not to be <clears throat> bullish here.